Welcome Speezers, so we're going to go over Fang's big break, little small comic issues as we've got all of them now until next week's launch. So this is your boy Future Boy, do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me to Future for more content. So yes, we're going to go through all the issues so far that we have of Fang's big break and as they've said, the last issue will continue to next week which was the Sonic Superstars launch. Yes, so this is part three of um, Fang's big break which is really, really interesting. It looks really cool. I've been reading through them but I thought now seeing as we're closer to the end of it and literally no more i'll go through all of them so far with you so right off the bat we have eggman saying here's your target and this is on um, north star island so this is one of the islands where sonic superstars actually takes place and he sees where he's meeting with fang so he goes north star island a remote paradise said to contain incredible wonders yeah like what there, that's why I've hired you to find out. I need someone to hunt down any beast treasures or people that will help me conquer the world. And that someone is Nick the Weasel. And then he goes, you keep doing that. I've dropped that fake name ages ago. So already you can kind of see how they are playing this and how he's going to annoy um, Fang by using his actual name, which is really funny. But then, so I like how everything's going on with this. I like already how you've seen the partnership between them. And it's someone who seems to be on Eggman's level, you know, instead so of just quarreling behind before him. But yeah, so as you can see right here, they go, he goes, Jet the Jorba, Fang the Sniper, Fang the Hunter. And he goes, no, get him warmer. There you go, big boy. And he goes, well, that's needs needlessly confusing. And he goes, hey, when you're a wanted criminal like me, you use all sorts of tricks to cover your trail. Whatever, I'm paying you to hunt, not talk. And he said, you got it, Doc. So I'm liking this. I am liking this already. This has got to be the easiest gig I've ever done. I'll pay you a heap to look around in a tropical island. Sure, whatever you want, Egg Nook. Maybe there's some ruins or something here. I'll show him some relic pocket, any treasure myself. Cash out is perfect. It's then he notices something really interesting. He's caught his eye. He's not alone. And there's our first look at Trip. Yes, she is watching him from the forest as she quickly rustles through the bushes and hides, which gets him a little bit scared. And he goes, Hey, Doc, you um, don't happen to know if there's any island inhabitants, do you? And he goes, Gee, I'd be hire someone kind of expert hunter to scout around and find out. Oh wait, that's you. So start wasting time and get to work. And he goes, Oh, I'm billing you extra just for that. All right, let the hunt begin. So right there, we've already got him kind of scared and we're gonna see a little bit of his history of who he's gone up against and what's made him so scared. And it's kind of like a, and the real cool thing about this is that obviously it's kind of making us see different sides of him and he's gonna look at himself really reflective and say, why has he been running all these years? And this is what makes this a really interesting. So he goes, maybe I was seeing things. There's just happy critters around. This is beneath me. I've gone toe to toe with Sonic before. And he goes, well, and you get to see exactly what's happened to him where he's lost each time. And he says, only last because technical issues. This time's gonna be different. Then he hears another thing, but this time around he steps in it and it's big and he said, some left huge tracks here. And it's a big foot that he's obviously seen there. He says, now this hunt is worth my expertise. With these tracks, this big hunting, this thing down will be easy peasy. After all, I managed to track down one of the most legendary treasures, the Master Emerald. And he's on about fighting against Ek Knuckles, which he said three times at least. He did and tracked it down three times. And he says, and of course, I ran into the same problem every time. And every single time he's got his butt handed to him by Knuckles. But still, and he goes, but that was Knuckles. I can handle some dumb animal. And obviously he thinks he can handle a big animal. But obviously it's not an animal he was leaning up against. Well it is. But that wasn't a wall he was leaning up against. It's a big bird. And he goes aha. And he fires a shot. So on that shot he thought maybe this was going to go a little bit easier for him. You know. But he hits the cheek. And the bird kind of does not like that he just hurt it. As you can see a little tear in its eye. And it's really mad. And then it suddenly becomes star-eyed on him and it goes to chase after him because now it means business but he's doing the same thing all over again that he said he said get your act together you're repeating your past mistakes you better than this you have to be 
And that right there is that little lesson that he's learning. He's better than this. He has to be. He's running just like his past mistakes. Every time that something goes wrong or not the way it does, he runs. So this is what I meant when I said it seems like he's learning from mistakes through this issue. So then it gets to this point. It goes, this thing's big and stronger than you. So don't take it head on. Get it off balance and tire it out. So now he figures out exactly what he needs to do with this big bird. He goes, don't get your hands dirty. And now he's calling for his bike because obviously he's tricked it, he's tired it out, it's confused, it's dazed. So now he just has to capture it, ring it in. He goes, make sure your tech is working in order and use that instead. So he's got the ball of what he needs to do. And now he's gonna claim what he has come there for to hunt. He goes, oh no, you don't. And then he nags it and then says, gotcha, giant goober. And right there, he's achieved everything that he needed to do, but something else is behind him that he's sensed. And that is obviously Trip coming in in her obviously name, which is Trip trips over a, a rock in the ground and drops her uh, spear. And when she drops that, he obviously turns around and sees that it's her, stamps on it saying, not your lucky day, huh? I got questions and you're going to answer them. All of them or else right there it says to be continued people so until next week we will see what happens where fang obviously speaks with trip and knows what's going on is this who eggman sent him for is this who eggman was looking for really who can tell but let me know what do you think of all this did you enjoy this issue did you enjoy how it was done and also would you like to see me do more of these stuff but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy as always stay frosty peeps peace